Horns up and welcome to another episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Uh, sorry, the host is a little preoccupied right now. Uh, we have a new guest. He's going to be hosting the show today. Whoa, calm down, man. You haven't eaten the food yet. So yeah, I'm going to hand it over to the actual guy because this boy needs to taste the food. Unfortunately, you don't see him tasting it because I think Peter might have a problem with that. Uh, but I will be there in the tasting at the end of the episode. This is what we do. This is what we do. Miso, there. Look at the camera. One time, look at the camera. You're okay, fuck. Okay, see you guys. Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, it's no secret I do not like McDonald's and other fast food restaurants like it and call me a food snob if you want, but I think their food tastes terrible. But when I saw this viral trending Big Mac salad on my Instagram, I was like, can I make this taste good? So here we are. And we're going to make a Big Mac salad and it's perfectly keto friendly. So anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. I'm going to get my cast iron skillet on the stove and add in some beef fat. And now I just let this fat heat up and melt. If you can't get your hands on beef fat or lard, just use avocado oil or ghee. I want to have an even beefier flavor. That's why I'm cooking with beef fat. Then in goes my ground beef. I'm just using lean beef and that's also why I added the beef fat in the start. If you have a fattier uh, ground beef, you probably don't need much beef fat because otherwise it'll get greasy. Anyway, just cook that meat and I like to spread it around so I can get some color on it and then using my wooden spoon, I break it up. The meat will soon release all the moisture and you'll have some liquid in the pan. Now at this point, I will season my ground beef with some salt, black pepper, onion and garlic powder then i will give it all a good mix and let it keep cooking i will also throw in some worcestershire sauce which is going to accentuate those beefy flavors it's like my secret ingredient when making beef anyway give this all a good mix and taste it for seasoning hopefully it's okay now if there is any residual water in the pan you want to cook that out so cook the meat till that water dries out then we will add some grated cheese or American cheese or frankly any cheese you like but for a more McDonald's flavor use American cheese. Then turn off the heat and give everything a good mix and the residual heat will melt the cheese. And that's it. Our ground beef for this Big Mac salad is ready. Now I'm going to shred some iceberg lettuce because that's one of the signature flavors of the Big Mac I feel. You can use other lettuce but this is what really makes the Big Mac salad so to speak you know so shred up that lettuce then just pop that lettuce into a bath of ice water for about 30 seconds or so and then drain it and dry it before using it this refreshes the lettuce and makes it nice and crisp now on to the onions i believe white or yellow onions rather are used in the burger but in india red is the default onion so i'm just using that chop it into bits and well if you don't like onion you can skip it now I can't recall if the Big Mac has tomato in it, but I think it doesn't. However, since this is a salad, I figured I'd throw in some cherry tomatoes. And if I'm being honest, 9 out of 10 times I actually prefer my burgers without tomato. What about you? Do you prefer your burger with or without tomato? Let me know in the comments. Now I got some baby gherkins or pickles as they are called and I'm going to chop them up for the salad. These are little baby ones that work really well, especially for something like this, you know, like a salad. But if you got the other ones, no problem. Any pickle will do. Time to make the Big Mac sauce and that starts with a good helping of your favorite mayonnaise. Then some yellow mustard, the American kind. Then you gotta add some sugar-free ketchup because we're on keto. Some garlic powder and some pickle juice. Now give everything a good mix and if the sauce is too thick you can add some more of that pickle juice which is the liquid in the jar of pickles or gherkins whatever you call them. And our secret sauce also needs some paprika I feel so I've added some in now for a bit of color and flavor and then give that all one final good mix and our Big Mac sauce is ready. Now to assemble the salad in a bowl I add the lettuce, the tomatoes some more grated american cheese the ground beef red onions and the gherkins anyway take a few seconds now to admire that beautiful looking bowl the big mac salad 
Now it's time to get saucy with that salad, so let's dress it with that Big Mac sauce that we made. Ooh yeah! And then of course you gotta sprinkle on some black and white sesame seeds because the buns always have sesame seeds on them. Take another few seconds to admire what a beautiful looking dish you've made till you realize, hey, I'm hungry and it's time to eat. So you give it all a good mix and then your Big Mac salad or what is basically a cheeseburger salad of some kind is ready. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. All right, folks, it's time to taste our Big Mac salad and look who's back. It's my brother Shom. What's up? So this is a hmm. Big Mac, like a McDonald's Big Mac, but in salad form. It's fantastic. So all the goodness without the bread, basically. Yes. Okay. All right, dig in. Okay. Let's eat. What is it? Indian Big Mac or International Big International. Mac? International. So because it's not chicken, obviously. No, it's with yeah. beef. Okay. Oh yeah, in India we don't get beef in the McDonald's, so... Oh. It does, no? I've eaten, I mean, it's been a while since I ate the actual Big Mac, but it, it's, yeah, I think that is what I remember of it. It's yeah, it ticks all the boxes, like if you, yeah. if you like McDonald's, I think this is better than the McDonald's, but... Uh, if you like McDonald's, this could put McDonald's out of business. So, you should eat more of this. I don't always know if that's a compliment because I actually hate McDonald's food, but... That's what I'm saying, this is better. So if people eat this, they won't need to go to McDonald's again. Awesome. So I guess yeah. my brother has given it the horns up. Yeah, horns up, spoons up, uh, yeah. Excellent. So I hope yeah. you guys are going to make this at home. Let me know how you liked it and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. Miso, can you stop making noise? Can you yeah, just come on. Ah. You can't hear that. You. You can hear it. <laughs> Arre, you can't hear. Come on. Arre, wait one sec. Let him stop. Leave the dog alone. Just let it the call. <laughs> well, let's try. Construction. Horns up and...